Alrighty, let's check this out here. There is no sound. We have a body mechanic shot. And sit. That's pretty cool. A tiny detail would be, not that this breaks the shot at all, but it's, it's because the character is standing and then getting into the walk. It almost feels like we're going, and action, and then he starts. That's just a tiny thing. Um, you could start the shot already around here, just on action. But that's a tiny, tiny detail. The other thing, too, is when you walk, he, there's an ever so slight, it's a bit of an odd feel how it's on the toes here and then not really planting the foot with all the weight. It might just be a perspective thing, but can you double check that? That Maybe just angled away from camera, but it feels like it's not really flat on the ground. That's the height there. I don't know. This seems a bit, a bit odd. And I would also make sure to probably have... Maybe it's a bit strong through here. Lessen this a bit. But then overall... A bit more hunched forward just for balance. There's a slight feel of imbalance. But I don't know. Could just be me. I think generally the main impression that I have is that there's some moments where the characters kind of stop and go a bit too fast and sometimes a bit clunky. And by that, I mean when you look at this, boop, right there. There's this section where we're getting into a walk and it starts off with this a bit post to post twin where this the leg and the arm kind of go up at the same time but then it stops and it's either an fk counter that's perfectly matched to you know lock that hand in screen screen space there or it's an ik arm and then after that we have the body here suddenly whoop, going forward and then stopping and then going straight up as if there was a wall here and the head kind of slides up that wall in real time you get that little bump hitch over there then at the same time we have this foot that kind of goes up over slide which is kind of neat i like that rotation but then it kind of goes forward towards camera and then moves forward there so it just, it just feels a bit wobbly right through there then we have that step that feels like now we're weirdly i like the line it's a nice i like that in terms of a, a pose but it feels again where I, we need to be slightly more forward because he's also pulling this not that, I don't think this is that heavy that it will pull him backwards. So to me, there's an overall feel of forward that is slightly missing. Again, we have that arm that goes forward here, and then it stops and kind of locks again, just in this space here. And then as we go to this, again, we have this part that goes forward, and then bam, suddenly stops just for a little moment. Also, the leg and the arm kind of go forward at the same time. So I feel like there's a lot of like little things here and there. Like the body goes forward and then beep, suddenly we're locking here. Watch this. Beep. Everything continues, but then the head and the chest go back. This suddenly feels disconnected where it's a really overextended arm moving that, that chair forward. Watch out for the sections here. Whereas like it would have to rotate the, the chair earlier and maybe you know lean towards the chair. I don't know if you can bring the chair closer, but you want to have a little bit of bend in that arm. So that just feels slightly odd right there. This, I don't mind, right through there. There's a good little stop in the root. Maybe gets a bit harsh at that line here. Boop. Could have a little bit of an overshoot and back. Then you have this arm. It's a little bit fast. Once it gets off the chair, right through there, that swing there. Watch that. And whoop, just a bit fast. And then we get into this where the head suddenly feels broken. Right, everything's kind of leaning this way. I have a nice line, and then bam, the head goes this way versus staying within this and keeping that line there. And then you have something where we're leaning down, and watch out, the bend is away from camera, and you, I would have a bend that's either like this or like this, so we understand the structure. Otherwise, if you have a bend that's straight to camera or away from camera, it feels more like the, the arm is stretching and scaling. But you have the body that goes down this way. And then, whoa, suddenly it's like an invisible wall here. Bang! That suddenly pushes the chest over and the head. Oh, the head is still kind of broken there in that pose. Whoa, and here's the biggest one. So now we suddenly go over there with intersections through here. And then we drop down. And again, I would have that leg 
more like that if you can so that we understand the bend. Now we're bending again towards camera where it feels like that leg is somewhat just scaling. And then we have a sudden, you can see this in the spacing here, if we track the side of this and whoa, it goes really quickly to the left there. So that's a sudden pop there. I mean, it's more than a pop. It's like, a, it's just a, it's not a one frame pop. It's just a sudden move over that's really fast. So it starts too quickly, it's overall too fast, and it stops too quickly too, which has a sudden stop there. Don't mind right there, the, uh, except that arms are a bit twinny here, the mirrored, go up and then kind of stop, kind of at the same time there. So watch out for that. And then that's the end. Yeah, so it's, I think it has cool stuff in it, but it just overall feels messy, dare I say, if I'm allowed to say that. Just I think it's it it has all the right beginnings. Where I like the kind of the tired pull of a chair. Usually it's just a sit down. So I like that he actually pulls the chair into position. There's a slight readjust, which I like. It goes from this way to a turn to looking this way. There's a lot of complexities in terms of rotations and and just the general mechanics. It just needs a lot of cleanup, if that makes sense. Alrighty, and that is that. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.